Hi guys. So today I'm looking at an oil pump from an R35 GTR, it's 2009, and this pump has failed. Um, it's caused some engine damage as well, which uh, I'm going to be repairing also. But this uh, is just a look at this pump. Now these pumps are fairly expensive to buy. This one I think uh, from Nissan is around 680 pounds, English pounds at the moment, um, for a full replacement. And I know that you can buy the gears inside, uh, the actual pump gears, as a replacement item for probably about, uh, I think they're around 60 or 70 pounds. So what I want to do is just open this up, first of all, just see what's uh, caused it to fail, and um, see how easy or difficult it is to repair those uh, those gears. Um, this one just you should be able to turn this by hand and it's uh, it's completely seized up. So I suspect that the main gear is either cracked or uh, it's possible it's got some um, some deposits in there, maybe some uh, metal fragments. Like I said the engine has failed um, but whether it was because of this failure or whether the engine failure has caused uh, some problems internally in this, I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get it apart and um, we'll take a look inside. So I've already stripped this down and cleaned it. I've just quickly put it back together without the bolts just so you can see how this thing is assembled. So this plate is from the back there covering up the back. Then we've got the lubrication tube which unbolts. This is to supply oil I believe from one side of the pump to the other just to keep the actual pump itself fed with oil. And then if we split this open you can see the rotor inside so the way that this works is it picks up oil from one gallery on the plates here, drops it into these spaces that are made when the rotor moves around, and then as it comes to this point here, you see that the gallery is, um, is shortened in size, so it basically compresses the oil and then pushes it downwards into the other gallery below. So that's how the pump works. Now what had happened with this one is the muck that was floating around in the engine, the uh, the parts of the broken engine and broken bearings had got into the oil pump. Um, there is a filter, but it's uh, that was the. Uh, just bear me a moment. I will get the filter. So this is the oil pickup. This is the part that dips into the oil pan and the oil is, is taken up this tube here. Now there is a, a mesh in there, there is a, a coarse filter, but there is the opportunity for small bits to get through there. Um, um, they've obviously got into the pump at some point and when this rotor moves around, the compression that you see here, it was compressing those parts into the edge and they were building up uh, up to a point where this thing just uh, just seized up and stopped working. There's another one on the back there. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between the two. This looks like the main one um, and there's a secondary one on the back. If we tip those out, we can tip out the rotors. Now these, this is what you can re uh, replace. You can buy new rotor sets uh, and put them in so I may do that. These do look okay though. They, the back one there's no damage at all. Inside these parts here where it gets compressed these are totally smooth in this one and the lobes on the gear are fine as well. But on this one, the main one, there is some scoring on the edge of these lobes Again, it's not too bad, uh, just very minor scoring. Now, you don't really want to file this off because 
the more material you take away from this, the less effective it'll be. Because as this rotor moves around, it's meant to create a tight seal here to force the oil downwards. Um, if I uh, file these off or smooth these down, it might, uh, well, it will reduce the performance of the pump. But there's no cracking, because what can happen is when you get the parts in here and this moves around, it compresses them so so much that as the load moves up, it's too much pressure for this part and it just cracks it. Um, but there's nothing like that occurred on here. So I think just cleaning these out, there was some parts still stuck in the edge here and I think cleaning those out, making sure they're all clean, it's going to be just fine with this pump. I've not decided yet, I might get a new rotor set. But I think that that is uh, perfectly usable. So that is it, that's the R35 pump. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot to it. As I said, the only parts that wear out really is the rotors. Um, and these ones, I think, are, uh, are perfectly fine. I will decide on that at a later date when I've uh, looked at the rest of the engine. But I hope you found it interesting. Um, I'll probably do some more videos of this car as, uh, as I get round to it. Um, there is some bottom end damage on the car, so I assume that um, it's going to be crank and bearings. So uh, I'll uh, get another video done then. Thanks for watching.